Hey there lovelies and welcome back to the channel. So I know this is horribly outdated but bear with me and I can explain. This is my 2016 title page for my Project Life album. Now if you watched my 2017 title page you would have heard me say that I hadn't yet done a 2016 title page and I had no plans to. I was just going to let it go. I'm, I'm not up to date with my 2016 Project Life so why bother with a title page? But um, Kazercraft have an online blog challenge, uh, a monthly challenge, and this month's challenge was a um, a bingo board, and you picked four things, either diagonally, horizontally, or vertically. And I really wanted to work with this page protector, this um, the style of the six four by sixes, and I had all photos picked out. Um, our trip from Dreamworld, I was going to put an insert in for my week two. But it didn't fit the bingo criteria, you did it. So I had to reassess. And the theme was about um, celebrating memories being, you know, the beginning of 2017. But I'd already done my 2017 title page and it didn't really have a place in my 2017 album so far. So what I thought I'd do is um, do my 2016 title page because the column that I chose was to use three photos, um, 26. Um, a year is the title? A title, yeah, I think it was meant to be 2017 actually. Oops, maybe, I better check on that. <laughs> anyway, um, there was a title, fond memories, and handwritten journaling. So I thought uh, I could do that for my 2016 title page. Actually, I think I might have been 2016 for the title. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's all good. Anyway, this is what I came up with. So I decided to obviously use 2016 as my title on, on a title card. I've got my three photos. I have a family photo, a photo of my husband and I, and then a photo of my two boys down the bottom. I decided to do my journaling on that middle card there. And then down the bottom, I was going to just write fond memories and make it into like a filler card. So this is what I came up with. So yes, I decided to do my 2016 title page. Surprisingly, considering the page I had planned didn't fit the challenge criteria at all, um, this came together as a, a secondary, you know, choice very, very quickly. So what I did, um, part of the rules is you have to use 80% Kaiser Craft products. And I love Kaiser Craft. Kaiser Craft is an Australian company, um, Australian scrapbook company. They release two collections every month. And with that, they do um, cards, uh, paper, die cuts, all sorts of stuff. Really cool company. And um, I have a lot of Kazar stuff. We have a Kazar store um, about 20 minutes from me up at Rabina. And, you know, I make a trip up there once or twice a year and, yeah, have a bit of fun. So one of the things I bought in one of my recent trips was um, a Captured Memories pack. And it has the 4x6 and the 3x4 cards in it, as well as some die cuts and some sticker sheets and clear stickers and things. It's a really good pack to, to have. When they bring them out, I tend to get them. Uh, I think I had another one in the Coastal Coastal Escape set, which I've almost used up. And this was, oh, I can't even remember the name of it, but it was really good. It was it was sort of um themed for like um their planner last year, I think it was. And yeah, it was it was a really good kit and it worked very well for this layout. So the longest part for this layout was probably deciding what cards to use. I didn't, because the photos are all different colours, I didn't really want anything too uh, bright and bold. So this cream off-white colour and the like the, the lined note paper type thing worked really well. So I've done my title card, nice and simple. I've used some white thickers and just um, a heart die cut that I cut out of a set of four and then just the sticker and I can't remember what it says. But um, it did match, I know that much. You'd, I'm working on a little screen, I can't see, even though I've only just done this layout. So I'm jazzing it up with some bling. And yeah, obviously you can't see the 2016 very well. But I do fix that, oh, right now. I have distressed crayons, a pack of distressed, tri distressed crayons that I'm in love with. And um, they're very, very versatile. And I, th I wanted to just give this a quick wash. I didn't want it to be too dark. So the blue was too blue, the green was too green. So I mixed them together. A little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a bit of water. And it makes a really nice watercolor. And I've just rubbed it on those stickers with my fingers. And it's the perfect color to match this collection. The, the green and the blue tone that's in there works really well. And then I just use my black mist and put some splatters on there and that's my title card done. So this card down the bottom is basically going to be a filler card. Now, 
the prompt was fond memory and I'm assuming that was because you were supposed to scrap a fond memory but I decided to use it as the actual word and write fond memories on the card you know obviously it's a title page and you know fond memories ahead in the album um, I decided to use some of the clear stickers that come with it and I wanted to put them in the corner as sort of like just a little embellishment but I accidentally dropped it on the page and I had to leave it there because when you pull it up it brings the it rips the page so I had to just leave it there thankfully it's not too bad so I don't mind it you know where it is too much and then I go and get my um, black little alphas these are Kaiser craft as well really really good very um great value you get lots as you, as you can see you get lots of uppercase and lowercase and I just spell out fond memories and attach it to the card nice and simple yes as you see that is what I do I attach the letters to my hand I do the same thing with thickers um, I, I can't get one at a time and lay it down it bugs me it takes too long so I take all the letters off that I need stick them to my hand and then put them on, on my uh, card as you can see it's not the best way to do it but it's my way it's the way I do it all the time and it works for me do you have any scrappy quirks that work for you that you think are strange I think this is strange and I'm hoping I'm not the only person that does it I've said that before but someone give me a shout out do you do this as well do you stick your alphas to your hands before you put them on your cards so once I finish with my title or my alphas I should say uh, I get my good old sharpie pen it is my favorite pen I have many many of them because I go through that many and I draw a doodly border around the rest of the card I wanted to add to that because as you can see that cluster down the bottom it looks like they're all hand hand drawn shapes like doodly shapes so I just decided to scribble on a border and um, doodle some little hearts of my own and that's pretty much it add some bling and that's that card done I was very happy with the way that one turned out so I do decide to keep the embellishing on my photos very simple um, on the picture of in the middle there of my husband and myself I just get a love heart sticker and then um, one of the clear stickers that's left that says happiness and just stick that on and that's all I'm doing on that one um, I didn't want to overwhelm the page too much because the photos are all very busy and it's yeah it's a title page I didn't want to overdo the photo embellishing too much and on the picture of the boys I've just mirrored the title card and just put a little embellishment and a sticker in the corner as well just to yeah mirror the diagonal and yeah just make it look even I suppose so if you've watched any of my videos in the past, uh, you will know what my favourite way to journal on my Project Life photos and cards is. It is in fact to cut strips of paper and journal on the, those strips and then attach them to my photos and my cards. Now this journaling card obviously had lines which I could have written quite nicely, but I didn't want to. <laughs> when I planned this layout, when I um, read the hand journaling prompt, I had decided to just do a big card and just some strips in the middle and it just so happened that this was already lined but I still wanted to stick with my strip journaling anyway only problem was I couldn't think of what to write <laughs> so I probably should have written more but I really wanted to get this layout finished so yeah I kept it very very simple our memories of 2016 a page at a time it was all I could think of <laughs> and it did the job so obviously it's only a very small amount of journaling for a very big empty card but you know I just wanted to keep it simple and really couldn't think of anything to write so I just glue these down by this little cluster of uh, pictures on the card and it obviously leaves all of this blank space and I didn't want to overdo the card because I didn't want to overdo the layout because it is after all a title um, a title page so do you know what I do yep ink splatters Ink sliders work for everything. They fill in space, uh, work as an embellishment. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do. And I do tend to overdo it, as you can see. But yeah, so that's it for my spread. Um, so this is for the January Kaiser Craft blog challenge, as I said. So yeah, hence why it's totally out of date. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the layout and I'll see you soon for more. Bye.